My apple tree is covered with woolly aphid everywhere, mountains of it. And it's, it's almost killed this branch off completely. I've never had it before. You can see it all along the bark. And it's gradually working its way up the tree. The top branches don't seem to yes they do, yes they've got it as well. So what to do about it is not the point. Even on the lower branches, not just the soft tender shoots. I've never seen an infestation like it. Well, <laughs> I'm going to give this tree some hammer with this power wash. And, uh, well, it might not get rid of them. I'm hoping that it will seriously weaken them. And uh, if they return in small numbers, then I've got a pretty powerful sprayer, which I think will uh, we'll get rid of them all together. But by God, what a mess they make. Amazing. <laughs> you can see where they've been, or maybe where they still are, because they're absolutely tiny things. But they, uh, and these little nodules here. They were all the way up this branch. In fact, we're all the way up every branch. Um, so I'll just keep my eye on this uh, on this branch and see if they uh, see if they return. If not, it's been a very very good job. This is the branch which was absolutely covered in them. All these little nodules everywhere. And you can see that uh, at least it <coughs> the branch is free of that that cotton wool which they these aphids produce. So it'd be interesting to see how that recovers. Uh, that's, uh, the other little bit I've missed, I'll go around and uh, and do them again. <coughs> um, and surprisingly, it didn't knock any apples off. Well, this is the spray, this is what you get in the box. You can see, you get a great big box. But you only get 30 millilitres of the uh, compound. It's very, very concentrated. You only need a tiny amount. And to measure it out, you get this rather nifty little measuring cylinder. And the, uh, the important chemical for killing these uh, woolly aphids is that stuff there, delta methrin.
Now the chemical details of all the all the ingredients. And you can see there, you only need tiny, tiny amounts. Half a milliliter in one liter. I mean, that's a dilution of 2,000 to 1. So it's, it's obviously very, very powerful. So I'm going to make up two liters. So I need one milliliter of this, uh, of this chemical, this pesticide. So I've just put one milliliter <laughs> of cold tea in there, so you can see just how much that is. It's a tiny amount for two liters of uh, water in a sprayer. So uh, that amount there will make up. Uh, three litres. There's one and a half cc's or one and a half millilitres in there. Let's go and give it a bash. Well you can see that in some places the, uh, the woolly aphids are in, have disappeared after spraying. You can see up there there's a great mass which has reappeared and I'm going to have to give it a second dose to see if I can get rid of it. You can see it there. There's more there so you can... I'll have to give it another spray to get rid of these. Lost pockets, but the spray seems to have worked quite well. There's a lot more there as well. So I think 80% of it has disappeared, has gone. Well, it's three weeks since I uh, first sprayed the apple tree, and I had to spray it again because there was odd patches which I missed. Uh, but you can see that there's very little left, but there's just the odd bit. So now I'm just going around spraying little bits that I've either missed or have just come back. You can see a little bit there. There's a little bit there. They're tiny compared with uh, how we started, so it's very, very pleasing. And I'll get rid of these. Well, apart from those other little patches, that seems to have been very successful. You just have to persist. Turn your back and I'll be back again. Just as bad as they always were, so I, you just have to keep inspecting the tree and if I, an odd patch appears then just give it a spray. So that's very, very pleasing. Anyway, I hope it solves your problem if you've got the same one. Bye bye.